war as NLC president deny links to criminal activities. As Falano take up his case, Femi Falano, a renowned lawyer, has take up that very case to defend Ajairo, the NLC president. Daring anyone to come up and challenge him, saying that uh, Ajairo has a link to criminal activities. <laughs> Amen. Only the face of this man alone, Femi Falano, is enough for anybody trying to accuse Ajairo to disappear. Um, uh, uh, who be you? We won't uh, challenge Femi Falano, a giant in law. All right, my people know this morning. Uh, NLC President Ajairo is taking it up hot, saying that whether Tunubu like it or not, they will shut down Asorok with these policies that he has introduced. Let's quickly go straight to the content. This is today's news. The president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC Joe Ajairo, was briefly interrogated by the Police Intelligence Response Team, IROT, on Sunday, August 20th, over allegation of criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable felony, subversion, and cybercrime. The interrogation, which lasted less than 30 minutes, was attended by the human rights activist Femi Falano's son, Maxwell Opera Deji Adenyoju, and the leader of the IROT DCP Sanusi Muhammad, along with operatives from the Department of State Services, DSS, and National Intelligence Agency, NIA. The questioning primarily focused on the operations of the Eva Valley Bookshop, located on the second floor of the labor house, Ajairo clarified that the suspect was merely a tenant of the NLC and that their relationship was strictly that of a landlord and tenant with no consultation or communication between them. Following the interrogation, Ajairo addressed journalists at the labor house, emphasizing that the allegations were baseless and that the labor movement would not be intimidated. He reiterated the NLC commitment to fighting for workers' welfare and pressing for the implementation of the minimum wage. Ajairo stated, We can't be intimidated. The allegations against us are baseless and we have nothing to hide. Our cells is stronger than ever. We will continue to champion the cause of workers across the nation, no matter the obstacle. Okay, uh, Nigerians, that is uh, what actually happened at the custody where when Ajairo was interrogated. Mm, that is good. Um, you know, when I heard it that um, Femi Falano is going with Ajairo for this very uh, interrogation I, I said wow yes wow in the sense that for Ajairo to have been able to win um, the heart of Femi Falano and bring him up from his seat to follow him to the station it means that Ajairo is not uh, is, 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 is not ordinary you understand because only extraordinary people that can pull a giant like Femi Falano out of his office to a case. And believe me, the, 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 the interrogation just lasted for just 30 minutes and the police had no, no, no choice than to let him go. You understand? And that is just it. So, dear listeners, um, I congratulate Ajairo. In fact, so he has gone through a lot. He has really gone through a lot. But what are we to say? Um, 
let me let me still hear from you on this matter and uh, let's know what your opinions and what your take as per what has just been revealed right away maybe it is a pleasure don't forget to click on the right subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you